Research planning is a fundamental tool for managing your time and organizing your research tasks and practice. This video reviews the purpose of research planning, the essential components of a research plan, and ideas for how you can design a plan that meets your unique needs and preferences. So why make a research plan? The purpose of a research plan is to first identify the parameters of your project as given by a supervisor. These are basics such as the date the assignment is given, the due date, and the format of the work product expected of you. Are you drafting a memo, writing the results of your research in an email, or explaining your results verbally to one person or to a group of people? You should also be recording the important information about the research problem itself. What is the precise legal issue you're meant to be researching? What is the jurisdiction? What facts are you given and what facts do you need to gather from a client interview, a deposition transcript, or from some other source? You should also identify what resources are available to you for your research. Does your firm or organization use Westlaw or Lexis? Will you rely on free resources? or a combination of paid and free sources. Where will you start? In your introduction to legal research course, you practiced using a specific model and template for a legal research plan. That template is a very good introduction to the traditional components of a research plan, but it's not the only template. And now that you understand its purpose in the research process and are well-versed in how to use it, it's time to change things up. Think of a research plan now as a sum of its component parts. What parts of the model you used as a 1L were most useful? Which ones didn't click with you as well? Which model for generating search terms was the most effective for you individually? A helpful exercise will be to download a blank copy of the template, which is available in the Prep to Practice LibGuide, and consider each component one by one. Mark up the template, keep some components, revise others, and delete the ones that aren't useful. When you've identified and revised the parts of the research plan that are most effective for you and suit your research project, reassemble them in a new template of your own creation. It can take many forms, an outline in Word, a spreadsheet, a decision tree, or flowchart. Just make it your own. The possibilities are endless as long as the result is a tool that meets your needs and it's one that you'll actually use. Your template for a legal research plan is fungible. It may be only a base that changes with every project you do, or it could be something that evolves over time as you become a more experienced researcher. For help with legal research planning, research logs, or strategy, reach out to a librarian. We're available all summer long and very happy to help.